What is the greatest act of not giving a FCK you've witnessed in a public setting? I'm a pharmacist who used to work in a community store. I once had a pretty standard 80 year old guy holler at me from one of the aisles that he needed some help picking an over the counter medication. I go over and ask what's going on. And he said he's had a rash in his groin for about a week. As I'm asking him to describe it. He moves off his suspenders. Unzips his pants. And drops his trousers right there in the aisle to show me the rash. It looked like a mild typical fungal rash in case anyone cares. I offered to take him to a private counseling room to complete any further exam and he said kindly dear. I have neither the time nor the inclination to move from this spot. What should I use? I picked out some antifungal cream. He redressed. Thanked me for my time. And went happily on his way. There is a small bridge in my neighborhood. With a clear sign showing which side is the right of way. One day cars were approaching from opposite sides and the driver from the wrong side felt she should have the right of way for whatever imaginary reason. She stopped on the middle of the bridge. Honked her horn and gestured the other car had to back up. Even though the sign clearly stated he had the right of way. The other driver did not even blink. He did not honk. He did not gesture. He just grabbed his newspaper besides him. Opened it and started to read. The first driver fumed and hissed and honked. But there was nothing she could do but back up and let the other driver pass. It was beautiful. Edit. There's a mentally challenged dude in my town who's super into cosplay and dresses up as Spider-Man. Wolverine. Four. Or whatever he's feeling that day and just walks around. Mostly pacing and punching jumping at the air. Local businesses sometimes hire him to mascot for them. I used to work at a fast food restaurant and we had a new employee. He was chill as FCK. Funny. But not that great a worker. So there's an elementary school with a basketball court nearby. So we decide to shoot some hoops after work. This was around the middle of the day. We walk over there. Play a couple of games. We're having fun. Out of nowhere the guy calls a timeout and sits on the side. We assume he's just out of breath and tired. Nope. He pulls out a bag of coke and really casually does a line in front of us. And a children's baseball game that's going on next to us. One of parents came over and says something. And my co-worker says it wasn't what it looks like. Gets up and starts playing again. You could totally tell he was coked up by the way he was moving. Acting. Etc. Needless to say. He didn't work there for long. He got fired for coming in to work on coke. What kind of uppity fast food place fires someone for using coke? Every restaurant I've ever worked at. At a McDonald's at like 11pm with some friends. There is a guy who is going off on the girl at the counter that no matter how much cream he puts in his coffee it's still too black, you know. Problems that are definitely within her control. He then turns to his friend. That we haven't noticed yet. To repeat his complaints to him. His friend is casually sitting at a table with a pretty big. Bleeding gash on his face. And says. Calm as a cucumber. This world is f -cared. Man. Full stop. That became our motto. Edit. Japan Circle in DC. Crackhead sitting on a bench. He doesn't even stand up to pee. He just whips it out and pees off to the side. In broad daylight. An elderly man was jaywalking. Crossing the street. But not using the proper pedestrian marked area. And a car honked at him. He stopped. Bonked the car hood with his cane. And waddled off. Rush hour traffic through a construction zone. Guy in the motorcycle in front of me is visibly irritated. As we haven't moved in like 10 minutes. Cop was stuck in it with us as well. Motorcycle said FCK it. Pulled out into someone's driveway and rode down the sidewalk. Cop puts his lights on. But too jammed for anyone to move. I see the guy get up to the intersection and hang a right. Cop trying to get out just gives up. And shuts his lights back off. When I was a lifeguard in high school. I saved a 6 year old girl from drowning. I swam her to the side of the pool. We got out. 
and she pointed out where her mother was. We walked all the way over to her mother who never got up and looked completely undisturbed by the events that had unfolded. For some reason that moment has stuck with me all these years later. I just can't imagine a scenario in which I don't care at all. Maybe even seem upset I was disturbed. By my child almost drowning. Paramedic here. Patient found in the middle of a public park naked and emsturbating. Me. Hey. What's going on tonight? Full stop. Same old same old. I just like to do a bunch of meth and emsturbate. I work in a hospital. The amount of old man. Low hanging testicles I've seen is staggering. One time on rounds me and three other doctors were talking to a man sitting up in a chair. This guy had his whole package just out and proud with his legs spread open. It's about 10 o'clock at night in New York City. Across the street. One of those vendors with crappy jewelry on tables is getting screamed at by an angry customer. About 20 seconds into his tirade. The customer starts flipping and smashing the jewelry. I look to my left. And there's a middle aged dude in a suit with his bare foot balanced on a trash can. Trimming his toenails. Saw some guy in McDonald's eating a salad with his hands. There was dressing on it too. Long time ago when I was in school. This kid would just jerk off under his desk. Usually it was while we were doing maths. A friend of mine was in an accident with a guy on a motorcycle. As she was turning. He came speeding around the corner and hit the back of her car. His bike broke into a million pieces and when she go out he was laying on his back in the middle of the road. She ran over freaking out to see if he was okay. But he just put his index finger up to his helmet and shushed her. Then patted the ground and told her to sit. And shush. After she sat next to him. He pulled out a pack of cigarettes. Opened his visor. Lit one. And passed it to her. When the cops got there. They were both just laying in the middle of the street alternating puffs of the cigarette. Official statement. We f ked up. Man. We f ked up wicked bad. There is a guy just outside Stirling. Scotland that I've driven past many times around 5pm. He sits on a bench with his earphones and dancing away singing at the top of his voice. Very dapper dresser too. Looks like he's having the time of his life. I've seen several dudes openly smoking crack on bus benches when I'm driving home from work. Albeit I'm a bartender and usually drive home 3 to 4 am. But still. When I lived in Japan. I was enjoying a latte with a friend in Kachijiji on a beautiful spring day. Out of nowhere. Dude rolls by in full hard gay leather on a bike. That wasn't the weird part. The weird part was attached to the bike trailing behind it was a little dais with a small dog on it. The dog was wearing a little black leather jacket with spikes and a little leather hat with studs. Dude and dog gave absolutely zero fcks. An obviously inebriated male passenger peeing down the aisle of a packed train carriage. When the train stopped at its destination. It looked like a game of twister as people climbed over the seats to get out in order to avoid getting their shoes wet. As a young person I was waiting overnight in line for tickets to the Phantom Menace. Speaking of someone not giving a shti. Comma and a car pulled up across the street from where we were. We could clearly see the girl in the passenger seat light up a crack pipe and do a hit. Then. Her head disappeared. Only to reappear a few seconds later bobbing up and down on this dude's lap. At the time I was thinking. How dumb is this guy to be getting a blowjob here in front of 200 nerds. It's the middle of the night. He could go anywhere. In retrospect. He knew exactly what he was doing. Don't know if it counts. As it's actually a story my friend told me. But here goes. My buddy was eating at a fast food place. And this teenage girl in a wheelchair comes in with her parents and has a total fit. At trying to order and the girls just being a nasty little dip screaming and walking rolling all over her parents and being super rude to the employees. So this old guy with these super thick glasses walks over and politely tries to calm the girl down. Saying that people are doing their best and stuff. And the girl just yells at him telling him to bug off. 
The guy says he's just trying to give his two cents and leaves the girl be. The girl and her parents get their food. And as they're on their way out. The girl rolls over to the old man and says sarcastically nice fking glasses. Without even straying from his calm demeanor. The old man says nice fkin legs. I watched this guy in a car get stuck between another car and a trash can and after a couple minutes of trying to maneuver around the trash can. I work on an ambulance in a busy area. Was running a 911 call when a homeless dude saw us coming. Started crossing the street. And proceeded to calmly shuffle across. He was right in front of us. Us with our lights and siren on. When he looked at me directly and stuck his middle finger up. Then continued crossing. Another time we were running a call in a casino and the dude had a major stroke right at his slot machine. Just keeled over and was all sorts of f up. Lady on the slot machine right next to him is sitting there calmly smoking and running her slot. It was crowded and we had to rearrange things a little. We asked her if she could move for a few minutes while we worked on the patient. She ignored us. We asked her to put her cigarette out. She ignored us. Finally security made her move. With the promise they would make sure she got her seat back. Not the bad kind of not giving a fck. But I saw the guy essentially doing the dance routine from Footloose in a public setting. Giving zero shts that people were taking photos and laughing. He was just happy to have an audience. You go. Footloose Frankie. I once witnessed some hoa wanker or agent of an hoa wanker put a boot, wheel clamp, on a truck. Not just any truck, a big beat to shti flatbed monster with a portable welder. Torches. And as it turned out. A great big grinder. The truck wasn't property of a resident. But it was clamped for being parked in the street. He was literally there doing a job for someone in this housing addition that was being built up added on to a bearded man comes out. Sees the wheel clamp. Comes over to the utility locator, me, and asks if I saw who put it on. Specifically asks if it was a cop. Once he has the info. He looks at the clamp. Reaches into the toolbox. Starts the portable welder, which is also a generator, and fires up a big angle grinder. Dot. And leaves the boot in the street in a couple of pieces. China in general. People holding their kids over trash cans so they can shti. Spitting. Oh god the spitting. I watched a guy eating some fruit inside the airport and he spit all the seeds on the ground and left them there. Saw a guy on a bicycle get hit by a car. Flew a few meters. Barely missed another car. Then got up. Walked to his bike and rode off before anyone could even offer to help. Might be completely stoned on adrenaline. Always stop people that you think might be seriously injured. They might get home when the adrenaline wears off where nobody else can help him. I saw a mother whose toddler was having a grand mal tantrum about not getting candy in the checkout aisle. This was literal threw himself on the floor kicking and screaming. She stiffened up. And just walked right out. Didn't say a word. Just left him there. Naturally once he realized she wasn't paying attention he stopped. Got up and brushed himself off. And went out. She is my hero. A few days ago in Atlanta while walking home from lunch I saw a homeless man pretend like we was going through the trash with his hands on either side of the rim. Instead he was just holding on and pissing shting his pants. I was in a bar and a guy like two seats away let this huge fart. Which ended with what sounded like he also let a load of diarrhea too. I was like dude. You shti your pants? What the fck? I was chilling in Lisbon with a friend in a park eating a sandwich and having a fresh juice. There was a children play park there where a lot of children were playing. If you would look closely. You could see a homeless woman under cardboard. She looked like she was withdrawing from drugs because she was shaking a lot and then she got up. Unrest completely. Took a leak in front of the kids and then proceeded to go under the cardboards. She clearly didn't give her fck. The children didn't give her fck and the parents didn't give her fck as well. Me and my friend got up and left. First time I was at the wrong end of artillery. Was in camp. 
doing chores when suddenly a wall of earth and noise sprang up a few hundred meters down the valley. I grabbed my kit and sprinted like crazy to my APC to take shelter. Adrenaline pumping. In front of me I saw an older medic in my platoon sitting outside the mess tent. I screamed shelter. Comma probably with considerable Doppler, as I went past at speed. He just crossed his legs over the table. Drawled now. They won't have range properly for another 10 minutes at least and thumbed another page of his prize. A fresh newspaper from home. The other day I saw a large man in stained cargo shorts shove his hand into them. Very obviously scratch his ass complete while pulling himself slightly up to do so. Smell. His fingers. Make a face. Then go back to eating his subway sandwich. He licked mayo off his fingers shortly after. Ah and that's enough reddit for the day. I mean I'm in Boston right now and I just passed a guy jerking off on the steps of a church. One time I saw this woman doing laundry in my apartment building's laundry room. When she got all the clothes and she sniffed her shirt and decided to yolo that sh tea. She got completely undressed. Tossed what she was wearing into the washing machine. And walked back to her apartment butt ass naked. One of the funniest things I've ever seen. Probably yesterday actually. I was leaving the hospital and as this elder gentleman passed me he let out the wettest most forceful fart I've ever heard in my life. The man didn't change his stride or laugh or apologize. It was mind blowing. And the best part it was just him and I that heard it. I work in the coast guard and we were in the middle of Tampa Bay anchored when all of the sudden I see a small boat. Okay kinda weird they are heading straight towards us so I look through the big eyes. Essentially a giant ass pair of binoculars, so I can get more information on the vessel. All I see is this lady sit over the side drop her bikini bottoms and shti right in the middle of the bay. I was absolutely stunned. The bridge ends up calling up to me and asking if I saw lady take a shti over the side. All I do is give a grunt of affirmation as the lady passes us and waves. In Tampa. There used to be an old man with long white hair and long white beard nicknamed the Florida Avenue Hobo. He would dance with a pair of headphones on that were usually plugged into an orange or some other kind of fruit. He carried a walking cane that he danced with. And would also howl. Loudly. At my local mall there's a store where the employees are notoriously helpful. So much so that it's become a game to touch the back wall and get out before an employee approaches you. The workers know about it too. So it's nearly impossible. The one time I've seen someone do it was by full on sprinting through the, crowded, store. Hands over his ears. Screaming at the top of his lungs the entire time. He had security called on him but he has achieved legend status in our friend group. I saw an old woman literally pull down her underwear and start pissing in the middle of the street on 5th Avenue. Central Park where there's mad kids, I guess after 90 years or so. You kind of run out of integrity. If you gotta go you gotta go. That lady was only 34. Don't do meth. The other day I was sitting at a traffic light intersection. The light had turned red and I saw a truck pulling a trailer zoom through the intersection. The guy clearly didn't give a fck about his or the surrounding driver's safety. I don't get why people find this to be an okay thing to do. Edit. The speed limit was 30 miles per hour. High school. Strict teacher. Microbiology class. Kid is drawing with a pen on his jeans. Girl sitting next to him is looking and giggling. Kid looks at her. Looks down. Looks back at her. In loud voice says "Oh, You're staring at my. Erection. There was a kid in a crowded park this summer eating an ice cream cone his mother had just bought him from a street vendor. Before the boy got his first lick. A guy passing by grabbed his cone and ran off with it. That's being an asshole. They had this kid one summer who had his bicycle ran over by a bigger truck. The dude had firefighter stickers all over his huge ass Ford and the kid was like 13. They were at a snowball stand. He just casually walked into his truck and backed out over this kid's bicycle. Pulled away with a shti eating grin and laughing. That kid was me 7 years ago and I still remember that bald prick.